Welcome to our program on Kardec Radio. Good morning, dear friends. Let us welcome together the new day. A day that comes as an invitation from God to renew ourselves, to move on, to create a new future for us. In the past, we made decisions that sometimes were not right. Today, we suffer the consequences. But today, as we observe the laws of God, tomorrow will be a better day. And that's why Emmanuel titles this chapter, Following Ahead. As he quotes Paul in 2 Corinthians 5.17, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, new creation has come. Emmanuel explains, difficulties, failures, conflicts, and frustrations. Possibly you face all of it, leaving only the wide aftermath of pessimism. Nevertheless, life is looking for new ways of working in you. The sun shines. The sea of oxygen replenishes your energies, progress works, and the ground produces. And it seems that the night is sheltered inside your being. Rise in spirit and begin the new journey. One road continues on another road. One source joins the other. You have the wealth of time to wait for you in the application of yours, so that happiness favors you. Sweep the hideout of the soul, purging bitter memories, and let the light of the present reach you from within your own strength. Renew yourself and go on, working and serving and as you go along the way between the blessing of understanding and the contentment of being useful you will realize that all the obstacles and the shadows of yesterday were made lessons and experiences in reaching your heart in security and joy so you can follow in peace towards the direction of imperishable conquests before the new dawn. What a beautiful message. We all have things in the past that we don't approve of, but Emmanuel here has a recipe for us. We need to renew ourselves, go on working and serving with the blessing of understanding and the contentment of being useful. Sometimes we are sad for circumstances that only God knows. But God is asking us, can you please keep helping me? Because I am sustaining you. I know how you feel. God knows everything. As Kardec says in the book Genesis, if you see a loving parent and their providence towards their children. Imagine the loving care and the providence of God. Immense. Let us then feel this providence in our prayer today, shall we, friends? Dear Mother, Father God, 
we want to feel your providence, your loving care. We want to feel your infinite protection. your unsurpassing love and peace. And we visualize that your rays of healing light shower upon all of us. Enveloping our homes in new healing in vibrations of peace, radiating to our neighbors and from our neighbors to our cities, to our states, to our countries, to our workplaces, to the school of children, to the whole planet Earth. Thank you for your invitation towards the good. Thank you for your invitation towards your love. And may we feel your protection and go on, follow ahead, moving on, going on, feeling the progress of all of our lives and visualizing the good that is being built each and every day. Feeling your love. Your calmness. Serenity. And joy. We thank you for this message, for the spirit doctors who care for all of us, and so be it. It's so profound when we allow ourselves to be in the arms of God. We feel as if we're a baby, in God's arms. Let us feel this feeling during the day and renew ourselves going on working and serving. Because after all, you are co-creator with God. We are. We wish you lots of blessings. And until next time, friends.